The MLB owners have now upped their offer to up to a 75% cut for prorated salaries for players. They're offering up 76 games, 989 million in salary, plus the $443 million bonus if playoffs are played. Added on is no direct draft pick compensation. That is versus their previous offer of 82 games in a season, a $1.03 billion salary for players, and $200 million in bonuses if playoffs are played. Now, it's noted that 50% is still the base prorated salary for players but we're seeing the bonus from playoffs result in if the playoffs are played players wind up with a 75 percent cut in prorated salaries versus the 50 percent there is one thing i do want to say though before we dig deeper into this and that is what trevor bauer had to say on the pat mcafee show the other day and that is what business owner tries to make the customers hate the product and when you take a look and think about what he's saying there that's what's going on in mlb right now you see the owners and base or owners and players fighting back and forth here debating publicly and the owners release the information you know the public information is the stats they want to be released to make the players look bad to make player people hate the players make them feel like they're greedy make the players say all right we'll cave and go for the owners here as opposed to just you know doing something like this behind closed doors that's the reason that's the part of this collective bargain agreement in every sport you see it the owners will go out and leak the information that they want the uh, you know the fans the media to hear but they won't leak the stuff that is you know you know not not the good stuff per se the stuff that is just heavily favoring the owners they won't put that stuff out there so it's interesting to you gotta i guess try to keep that perspective in mind here that does happen and it happens on both sides to be quite frank but when you say that though that being said they're starting to look like they're the greedy players i i agree when i start to think of the stuff mlb released you know previously some of that stuff uh, it, it's questionable but when the mlb owners come out and publicly say we're going to give a little bit here we're going to try to make this work from 50 percent to 75 percent that's a big jump that's going from 50 that's a 25 percent jump in prorated salaries that's a that's a nice jump to see they're willing to you know be more lenient there but the players immediately come back and say no not a chance we're not budging on 100 percent prorated salaries that really makes you think like who who's trying to make this happen and who's not trying to make this happen if the players don't budge we really could be looking at a 48 game season happening the two sides really need to i mean there's no way to put it better quit the pr stunts both sides quit going out and publicly trying to get fans to agree or disagree with you whatever close the doors and figure something out close the doors and figure is it that difficult there's no reason we should be waiting two, three, four days to get a response from the owners or to get a response from the players. These guys, if they're prepared and really want to play this season, the owners should be all meeting together saying, hey, guess what? This is this is the base we're going to, the most we're going to give up. No matter what the players say, this is the most we're willing to give up. If we, if we can't reach those numbers, we're just not going to have a season. The players need to say the same exact thing. This is the bare minimum we are willing to take from a prorated salary standpoint. If it doesn't happen, then we're not budging, right? There's no reason to be let's let's negotiate for two to three days. Get that stuff figured out ahead of time. That way, when these negotiations happen, you go either they can all go sit down at a table and bounce the negotiations back and forth till they finally meet a middle price or a price that fits both sides, you know, agendas. And then you go out and say, hey, we got a deal done. But instead, we're playing this two to three days, four to five days, week long. It seems like once a week we're getting a new deal here. You play the week a week every single week. You're getting a new deal and we just keep bouncing back and forth you're saying minimum right now you look at it and say what two weeks maybe a week if you're lucky there's a negotiation completed it's june 8th june 15th next week june 20 what seconds the week after that it is looking like the earliest baseball can start from starting wanting to start july 1st getting everybody watching baseball because there's nothing else on to starting mid-july or even late july and you, you know it's again it's got to be give and take on both sides the players have to the owners have to try to do their best to pay the players no questions as to the, if the league's going to rake in a lot of money this year they need to pay the players but the players at the same time need to realize 114 game season just ain't happening the, the owners and everybody else understand this pandemic's not over it's far from over everyone's preparing for a potential second wave the first wave isn't over but if a second wave comes, you have to shut everything and they shut everything down again because it's worse than the first one. Then you're ending the season right then and there. You can't afford to not have the season end September 27th, September 30th, October 1st, wherever MLB wants because you need to have playoffs done at November or early November because that is, again, when you could expect potentially another wave to pop up during the cold and flu season whatever goes on there and then the last thing you want to do up here is baseball is play out that season and not bring in that playoff revenue or you want to have to cancel mid playoffs you want to finish playoffs 
So it's important for baseball to get the season done on time because there's kind of a hurry for that particular reason. Not to mention the revenue that's going to be in there because you're splitting with baseball, hockey, football, everything else that goes on then, everything else that's going to be going on now because you're dragging your feet in this. Could have started July 1st, could have been the only major sport rolling right then. Now you're talking about competing with hockey and basketball by the time football, baseball wants to come back to start their season. It's tough. Both sides got to figure it out. They really do. They really got to They gotta play the give and take game. I understand the players don't want to drop 100%. They got to do something though. They got to drop, what, how, what about 90? At least come back to the owners and say, okay, we'll do 95% at least then you're like hey we're willing to try to figure something out right now it feels like a stalemate by both sides still 